Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own animated overlays all for free. Uh, there obviously, there are tons of places online where you can get free overlays. Uh, Stream Elements uh, comes to mind, uh, Streamlabs, uh, Nerd or Die. But let's say you want something that is made by yourself. Maybe you want your own personal touch to it. Well, you're going to have to make it yourself. And I will show you today how you can use certain filters in OBS as well as certain editing programs to make your own animated overlay. So let's, uh, let's jump right into it. So to make your own animated overlays, you're going to need two programs. You're going to need uh, paint.net or an equivalent. I believe GIMP will also do the same. And also OBS Studio or equivalent. I think Streamlabs will be able to do the same things as OBS does. Uh, I'm going to use both of these for these tutorials, but uh, feel free to interchange these with whatever may work for you. So first off, we're going to open up paint.net and the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go up into the top left into image and we are going to resize uh, the canvas. Now I recommend you set this canvas size to a 16 by 9 format. That's often the common format for cameras. Most cameras shoot at 16 by 9. For most cases, this will work fine. If you have a different kind of aspect ratio, you can change this. Uh, I'm going to put some common resolutions up on screen, but today I'm going to be using 1920 by 1080 for this overlay. Let me just remove the smiley face here. Press Ctrl A and then delete. And you'll get a nice white and gray grid, which means that it is transparent. So for the basis of this tutorial, I'm going to start with a very simple uh, rectangular kind of camera border. Uh, so you're going to want to go into shapes there on the left, uh, into rectangle. You're going to want to make sure that your rectangle is selected to be completely hollow. By default, it should be draw shape outline. And you're going to want to set a brush width. I recommend about 20 if you're working on the same resolution as I am. You can see the kind of shape that I'm going to get from this now. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use uh, the size in the complete bottom left here to get a 16 by 9 resolution. Uh, I'm going to go for 1280 by 720. You can control and scroll the mouse wheel to uh, zoom in a bit to help with more fine control. Let's see, there we go, we've got that. Nice 16 by 9 square there, perfect for any camera. And there you go, you've got your basic outline for your camera border. Once you've uh, drawn this uh, rectangle, uh, you're able to manipulate it to be any color you want. If you just want like a uniform color, you can basically pick any color you want from the color picker in the bottom left. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be having it as white. Uh, you can also use black if you're looking to animate it. Either white or black will work for animating these overlays. Once you've done that, uh, if you're looking to just animate it, uh, you go up to the top left and you go save as, and you're going to want to save this wherever you may want it. I've got a folder here just for testing and I'm going to drop it in. I'm going to call it border one. There you go. And then this will come up and you just press OK and it has saved that image as a transparent rectangle and you will be able to drop that right into OBS. So to add uh, this uh, border into OBS, you're going to want to go to the sources tab, uh, press the plus sign and go into image. And then I'm going to name this image uh, cam border and I've got to browse for it. Since I already know where it is, I'm just going to pick it up quick. Border one, there you go. And I've got to open it like so. Now to you, this might look like just a simple, you know, rectangular uh, border, not very unique or different, but uh, in a moment, you're going to see uh, what we do to it to kind of animate it. You, know, you can resize it, you can move it however you want, wherever you may want it. Got to put it on this left side here. But yeah, you can put it anywhere you like. Uh, recommend keeping it out of the way of common overlay features in games, whatever game you may be playing, or whatever you may be doing. Uh, useful areas tend to be on the middle left side, but uh, wherever you may want it. So to add an overlay to this program, we are going to right click on the source. We're going to go to filters and you're going to see some extra overlays here that I've got some extra plugins, but you're going to look for image mask slash blend, which will be in the default version of OBS. And I want to add that filter. And so we're going to be using this filter to animate our overlay. Uh, if you picked a white square, you're going to want to go to multiply. If you picked a black square, you're going to want to go to addition. But since we picked the white one, we're going to do multiply. So the next step requires you to have a GIF. Uh, now these GIFs um, basically will be 
overplayed on this uh, rectangle here and only be visible at the parts of the rectangle that are the color that we mentioned. Um, so I'm going to have a, a directory, uh, I guess a Google Drive folder full of different overlays that you may be interested in, but any GIF online will work. Uh, if you're interested in having some custom ones made for you for free, uh, maybe drop a comment in the channel. I'm more than happy to maybe try and make some for you. Uh, I'm actually just kind of practicing my own editing skills myself, so it'd be much help if you could maybe lend me a challenge in the comment section. I'll be looking at this comment section for maybe a few months even. Just understand that it's kind of just like an overlay onto this rectangle, so I can't do anything extravagant, but I could do different colors and stuff. So I've got a, uh, a GIF here. Uh, we've called it Blue Reverse, and basically this is just a spinning blue and black kind of overlay and it looks like this in the final setup very nice very simple uh, but extremely effective very visually appealing very clean look i think it's fair to say so it kind of works quite well uh if the gif that you choose doesn't seem to fill up the entire thing you can select stretch image at the bottom of the filter that will make sure that it takes up the entire Kind of work area should be fine either way and see i've got a ton of gifts here you can change them out while you're live as well uh, you don't need to be offline to do this you can do this while you're live so you can even do uh, maybe kind of redemptions to change the overlay i can even have like cat jam here if i wanted can't really tell it's cat jam unless you know it's cat jam but yeah you can do whatever you like Okay, let's say you want to modify this uh, overlay that we required a little bit. Well, there's tons of ways you can do that. Uh, if you've still got the uh, image up in paint.net, you can actually edit this uh, overlay live while it's still up. I'm going to have the overlay on the left side there while I edit it. Uh, let's say, for instance, I want to add a little triangle in the bottom left corner. I can do that right here you see I'll just click and drag triangle in the corner there you go maybe I want to uh, fill it in as well so maybe I want to add like a little smiley face in the corner just for the jokes there you go all you have to do is hit save and it will update in OBS immediately so you can add whatever you want now understand that if you don't use the same color that we use for the image mask it will come out a bit different to how it may look as it tries to mask in certain mathematical ways. Uh, so I'd recommend having the overlay be one uniform color. Um, now, if you have a white uh, mask and you draw in black, it won't come up in any noticeably different way, but any colors kind of in the middle will be affected. So for instance, if I were to kind of scribble in a little bit of black here in the middle and I were to save it, uh, you'll notice that the black is completely unaffected. Uh, but if I were to do a little bit of blue, Blue isn't exactly white, uh, so it will be partially affected by the uh, mask, but not in the same way as white is. And you can use this to kind of have different colors of the overlay. You could maybe have it change over time. But we'll delete that for now. Tons of use cases for it, but there you go. So in my stream, uh, I have a slight glow to most of my overlay elements. Kind of gives them kind of like feathered edges, so it's not like a straight edge. Uh, I'll show you how to do that now. You just uh, copy the uh, image, you open up a new uh, layer on the right side, and then you paste it, and then you go effects, blurs, a Gaussian blur, and then however you change that blur will affect uh, kind of the, uh, the glow that comes off this image. There is another way of doing this, but uh, this way here, it's just kind of how I've learned to do it. I'm sure there actually is a glow feature. Once you save and you have more than one layer, it will ask you to flatten. Uh, you want to go ahead and do that and it will flatten it down to one layer in the bottom right. Uh, no matter how you save it, it will come up as one layer in the end. You can see there a very slight glow. So here we go. I control Z and then I can affect the glow. Let's say I want a bit more blur. Put up to 58 and I save this again. And you're going to notice the difference here on the left side when I do this. There you go, much blurrier, much more glow. Kind of looks kind of nice, actually. Uh, so obviously, uh, paint.net is not going to give you overlay features like sub counts, follow counts, stuff like that. You will still need to rely on programs like Stream Elements or Streamlabs for that. But 
if you ever wanted to animate those features and have the ability of customizing them while you're live, uh, you can still use this feature on them as well. It is completely transferable, completely uh, customizable feature that you can use within OBS. And as I mentioned before, leave any comments on any kind of animations you'd like for your kind of overlay borders. I'd love to uh, attempt those. But if you found this in any way useful, be sure to drop a like on the video, maybe subscribe. I'm gonna have more OBS tutorials in the future. Uh, but until then, uh, thanks for watching.